there have been overwhelmingly positive responses to our often away all day policy to ban the use of cell phones uh, in school. The Secondary Principals Association said that schools who started the year with the ban are reporting less distraction and more interaction That's in the right. playground, with a lot of children out playing sport or heading to the library. Yeah. I am proud of this government that we're prepared to take decisive action and that's why from the first day of term two all schools were required to implement the cell phone use ban to ensure every student has the same opportunity to succeed at school. Supplementary. What evidence has she seen to support New Zealand's cell phone policy? Mr Speaker, a recent study published by the Norwegian Institute of Public Health wrote that banning smart, uh, smartphones significantly reduced bullying improved the grades of students and significantly decreased the number of visits students made to see mental health specialists. The study also found that schools that implemented a policy removing phones for the whole day, not just class time, experienced a larger increase in student educational performance. That is why it is our expectation that cell phones are off and away all day so we can get back to basics and ensure our kids are literate, numerate and aspirational about their futures. Supplementary. What feedback has she seen from school principals about the away for the day cell phone policy? Mr Speaker, principals from across the country continue to write to me to tell me how wonderful it is to hear the noise in the playground with more students talking to each other, playing games and connecting. One Dunedin secondary school principal reported that restricting pupils' cell phones uh, had it resulted in a massive drop in harmful social media incidents. Oh, right. The Hornby High School principal said he wished they'd done it five years ago. Oh. He said, we're seeing kids outside playing games, throwing balls, reading books and generally interacting more positively rather than having heads down on a phone. This policy is part of our wider plan to lift student achievement and wellbeing. Supplementary. What feedback has she received while recently abroad about the cell phone policy? Mr Speaker, last week in Singapore I had the opportunity to meet with many of my international counterparts. The number one thing I was asked about were cell phones. Ministers of Education from around the world asked me to share our approach and why it had been so successful. Other countries are also making changes. The UK Government has also taken steps to prohibit cell phones in their schools. The UK Secretary for Education explained that by prohibiting mobile phones, schools can create safe and calm environments, free from distractions, so all pupils can receive the education they deserve. Mr Speaker, this government is committed to getting the basics right, supporting Kiwi kids to succeed. Getting cell phones out of schools was just the start, and there's a lot more to come.